This is iFiber One News. Here are today's top stories. A shop building was destroyed and one person was injured during a fire Monday afternoon near Efreda. Basin Summer Sounds returns this weekend in Efreda with two days of live music. A Washington couple is accused of setting a house on fire, leaving two children dead. From the iFiber One newsroom, this is iFiber One News. And it starts now. A shop building was destroyed and one person was injured during a fire Monday afternoon near Efreda. Firefighters responded about 2.15 p.m. to a structure fire on Road 14.5 Northwest, just west of the intersection of Dawson Road and State Route 282. According to Grant County Fire District 13, a shop building was fully involved, threatening a home when crews arrived. The structure fire also started a small brush fire. District 13 officials credited the teamwork with Fire District 7 and Afraid of Firefighters for quickly stopping the brush fire and protecting the nearby home. The shop was destroyed in the blaze and a pickup truck was also damaged. Fire officials say one person was transported to the hospital for injuries related to the fire. The Grant County Fire Marshal's office is investigating the cause of the blaze. This is Joe Utter for iFiber One News. Keeping up with today's fast-paced world can be difficult. Accelerate your life with iFiber Communications' high-speed internet. Surf, stream, and game like never before. Give us a call at 509-754-2600 and find out more at iFiber.tv. Basin Summer Sounds returns this weekend in Afreda with two days of live music. Nine bands featuring a mix of country, rock, and jazz will hit the stage in front of the Grant County Courthouse Friday and Saturday for the annual Free Music Festival. Music starts at 5 p.m. on Friday, headlined by Seattle-based classic rock band Spike and the Impalers. Other bands on Friday include the Stony River Band and Jones and Fisher. Saturday's music kicks off at 1 p.m. with Alex Shaw and Friends. XEB, the original former members of the band Third Eye Blind, headlines on Saturday at 9 p.m. Other activities during the festival on Saturday include the Rim to Rim Basketball Tournament starting at 8 a.m., the Afraid of Farmers Market, Food and Vendors, and a Beer and Wine Garden. For a complete list of the weekend's music and other activities, visit www.basinsummersounds.com. This is Joe Utter for iFiber One News. These are the two people police suspect of leaving a Mount Vernon home, nothing more than a skeleton filled with ash, but worse. As soon as I saw that, I knew from our training there's no way that anybody could survive that fire who was inside that building. Neighbors say two elementary school aged children, a girl and a boy, were inside this home and now presumed dead. Their mother, who we learned is Jessica Starr, managed to escape by flinging herself out a second story window, convinced her kids were behind her. She was just really distraught. She was in well, she shock. Just, she was just she kept was, saying over and over, my kids are still in there, said, my kids are still yeah. in there. Tonight we have confirmed this couple, 24-year-old Jeremy Chisholm and 31-year-old Kimberly Hughes, whose names we found on the Skagit County Jail roster yesterday, are each facing two murder charges and an arson charge for this fatal fire. Neighbors say they've seen Hughes and Chisholm at the house. We went to one of Hughes's previous addresses and spoke with a former neighbor who said he was leery of Hughes even five years ago, but never would have expected anything like this. That does surprise me a lot because I didn't think someone would do that sort of thing. You know? From the iFiber One Weather Center, I'm Jeff Slicky, taking a look at the basin's forecast for the week. Upper 80s and clear to start it off for your Monday, 90s or so and clear for Tuesday. More of the same for Wednesday by Thursday, dropping down into the mid 80s. Friday could see the same, Saturday and Sunday, mid to upper 90s. For iFiber One, I'm Jeff Slicky. This is iFiber One News. For more information on these stories and other news, visit us online at ifiber1.com or check us out on Facebook.